The LA Kings just did Jonathan Quick dirty. Last night, after a big win against the Jets where Kopitar got himself a hattie in a four-goal game and team spirits had to be high, Jonathan Quick, their franchise goalie, was informed that he had been traded to the Columbus Blue Jackets. This one shocked me, I'm not going to lie. The reports were that he was not happy about it, the team looked unhappy about it, and yeah, the flight back must have sucked. Now, I know it's no secret Quick hasn't exactly been performing well this year with stats that are subpar and he hasn't been the starter for some time now, but as recently as last year, he showed he was still capable capable of playing very well in the playoffs and this year as a backup I think he could have stayed on the team if they wanted to make it work just having a guy like him around is worth something I mean he was the backstop that led them to two cups league awards undoubtedly is the best goalie in franchise history and they shuffle him out like this he just about single-handedly won them the cup in 2012 is on the last year of a 10-year deal that feels like he signed back in 1949 and there's less than two months to go on that deal in the regular season after which I think expectations were that he'd likely retire anyway having spent his entire career a king but with all that said the truth is rob blake probably made the right decision here ultimately his job is to make the team better and he did both things can be true at once so i think what it really comes down to for me at least is this moving on from quick is not the problem they needed better goaltending but it's how you did it and how you treat a legend of your organization to trade him the guy that brought as much to the organization as he did seemingly without telling him the reports aren't really clear on that yet so i'm not 100 percent sure but still they traded him to the worst team in the league just weeks before the end of his contract again it just feels dirty quick ultimately was robbed of a last game at home and a real send-off with all fans knowing that it was goodbye at the end of the day though this is a business and this was a business decision quick did not have an nmc in his contract so they were able to move on easily and the kings got back a solid left defender and a solid goalie in corpus Allo. in both are areas that improve the team no doubt only thing i wonder is these players players are human beings, not simply pawns. Does this impact team chemistry? Does this affect room morale? It can't be fantastic right now, I'd imagine, but they are professionals. The Kings really only have just Kopitar and Doughty left of that core anyway, so maybe it's not as big of a deal as I'm making it out to be. And hey, if this move allows them to make a deep playoff run, or better yet, win the cup this year, I think all will be quick to forgive. You see what I did there? At the end of the day, I think Jonathan Quick got a fantastic career, two cups, and I'm sure when all is said and done, he'll be very content with his career in LA, even if he's not exactly happy with how it ended. But let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd really like to hear what you have to say. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.